Hi, welcome. Today I'm doing a timeless reading for Aries, meaning when you see it is when you're meant to see it. Um, so this is if you have Aries in your chart anywhere, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Be sure to check out all the signs because I feel for me like it didn't really make sense until I combined the energies of all of them, not just my Sun sign. So what I want you to remember is that these readings are meant to be a bridge to your own intuition. So pay attention to any messages that come up within you from your higher self. Those are the most important messages. It's just meant to be a bridge to that, to give you a chance to listen. And not every energy that comes out is going to match every person because it's a collective reading. I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. Please come join me there if you feel called to. It's my creative space in the world. Um, there's more things besides tarot readings, including recipes and family life. Anyway, I'd love to have you there if you feel drawn to it. Okay, my beautiful Aries friends, let's get started. So I've pre-shuffled the cards, and at the bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. This could be an offer of stability. This could be um things getting better in terms of your finances you really being able to uh stand on solid ground but for some of you for example this can be a divine masculine energy for some of you this might be someone coming into your life who is very stable who is going to be there long term who's you know we like we're saying good with money um, or stable in terms of their finances. The King of Pentacles is very good with that. Okay, let's see what other messages want to come out for you, Aries. Queen of Wands. This is you. Your beautiful fire energy here. Wow, this is you standing in your power. I love when you get your card because for me it really shows me like you're really being yourself, you're standing in your power, um, you're being seen here as passionate and attractive and like, a, like you're going after what it is you want in life. You're going after it. I love to see the Queen of Wands for you, Aries, because that means that you're really um, shining in your element here. What other messages want to come through for Aries? What wants to come through for Aries? What are the highest messages for Aries? I'm getting this message of like, keep being you, keep doing you, okay? Five of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. It may have been in the past that you were really feeling like you didn't have enough or you were, things were not stable or like you were struggling financially and then you have this king of pentacles that was on the bottom of the deck as this overall energy. The eight of pentacles is you've been working really hard. You've been re working really hard. The queen of swords, like for some of you, it may have been that you were single and you know, like having to take care of everything on your own, or even if you weren't single, you were feeling like you were having to take care of everything on your own, but you're very independent. Um, the Queen of Swords has been through a lot. She knows how to cut out all the BS because of all the experience and wisdom that she's gained here. Um, so I feel like it's like you're working hard towards cutting out things that are not, that are essentially not for you, not in alignment with you. You don't want to, you've decided like you don't want to be in this lack mentality. You're going to stand in your energy as the queen of wands here. But you're really working hard and it may be with the eight and the queen of swords that you've really had to cut out or walk away from something that's not right for you here. Because it was leaving you feeling lack. It wasn't leaving you feeling your best self. Um, but you have that strength within you. Okay, so the Nine of Swords came out, but it came out in the reverse. So the Nine of Swords is all, can be a lot of stress, but the stress is coming to an end. Like you are 
I feel like you're owning who you are and you're owning the fact that you have this ability to manifest an amazing life and you're putting an end to whatever it is that was stressing you out. You're putting an end to it. You're cutting it out here with the Queen of Swords and the eight, you're walking away from it. Um, even if it's just a way of thinking, for some of you it might be, um, for some of you it's a situation, but for others of you it might even be a way of thinking, like a cutting out any kind of black mentality, being like, no, what, I am I am powerful here. I, um, oh, let's see, it's like the sun card came out here in the reverse too, so I feel it came out with a nine of swords and I feel like it's you putting an end to anything that doesn't bring you happiness here. If something doesn't make you happy, you're seeing it for what it is. You're deciding to move in a direction that you are passionate about or that, or that brings you happiness. You're walking away from any kind of lack, including just the way of thinking cutting out what's wrong or being like, you know what, if this doesn't make me happy and this is a source of stress, this is just not right for me. I deserve joy. I deserve to be happy. The moon card. So the moon card is about using your intuition for one. You're using your intuition here. It may be that like something, there's some information that hasn't been revealed to you yet that's kind of just been hidden that you haven't seen yet. There's some kind of, or you feel like something's been kept from you. There's this energy of something not being revealed, but there's also this energy, this soft, beautiful energy of using your intuition, following your intuition. Especially when I have you standing here in your power, it's a you're going to be using your intuition and you're letting it guide you. You don't have to see all the steps. You might not have everything revealed, but like there's this inner knowing within you. What other messages want to come out for Aries? What are the highest messages that want to come out? The tower. Okay. So for sure with the tower here and the queen of swords, not only are you cutting out what's wrong for you or walking away from it, what's wrong for you. Anything that is not a solid foundation is being, um, is being removed. The tower is a very positive card because you want to be in alignment with what is right for you, right? If something is wrong for you and it's holding you back or it's not bringing you happiness or it's just, I want to say here, like have this trust in the universe because the universe can see what you cannot, right? The universe can see what, what is your highest good. So allow what is wrong for you to crumble and fall apart um, because it needs to. It could be that there was an ending to something for you, Aries, but this was a really important ending. Like this is, it's so that you can be where you're meant to be or you can be in the situation that you're meant to be in. Because whatever it was, it was causing you stress and it wasn't bringing you happiness. With these two cards here in the reverse, something was not bringing you happiness and it was causing you stress and it needs to be removed. And the universe can see that. The universe has this bird's eye perspective and you are actually now shining bright in your power. You are able to have more clarity in the mind. What are the highest messages for Aries? What does Aries need to know? What are the highest messages for Aries? Even if you don't understand something now, like I feel like you will get this clarity, but you deserve a life that's joyful. You deserve a life that brings you happiness. You deserve a life where you get to be yourself and you get to shine and be that beautiful, passionate fire energy that you are. Waiting for just the right cards to come out. What are the highest messages for Aries? 
What does Aries need to know? Three of Cups, you will have celebration. There will be this celebration here that happens for you. Okay, this is leading you somewhere really good where you are in your power, where you are in alignment with yourself, with your heart and your soul. You're going to be celebrating here. This tower is actually going to bring about celebration, uh, positive things that can come in now. Judgment, because the universe is making this, dis well, either the universe is making this judgment call where like, Okay, something that wasn't an alignment needs to fall away. Something that wasn't bringing you happiness, that was bringing you stress, that wasn't for your highest good, needs to fall away. But the judgment card is also like you making a decision. It could be like with the Queen of Swords that you have made a decision here in the judgment. But like, I feel good for you. You're deciding to walk towards your happiness here. Even if it's difficult, the King of Cups, this some of you have this energy of love coming in. This uh, you know, you're, it's opening up your heart to this offer of love. Um, and the King of Cups is this emotionally mature energy, right? Which I feel like this is an energy that's coming in because we have the Queen of Wands already out here. I feel like this is an energy, a very loving energy coming in for you. And it feels very soothing. And you have this celebration card. So I feel like, gosh, you allowing yourself to stand in your power, you allowing yourself to be fully who you are and love that about you love your love the passionate person that you are um, you know the ability to cut out what's not making you happy the ability to see the tower as a positive thing because it's bringing about love and fulfillment here with the king of cups and celebration and the universe really has stepped in and you know, maybe helped give you that push that you needed. Any more messages for Aries? Any more messages for Aries? Gosh, you just, you so deserve this joy. You so deserve this love. For some of you, like you've decided maybe to cut something out because you know that that's what you deserve. You deserve happiness. Whatever is holding you back, like I said, it doesn't always, it can sometimes even be a uh, just a way of thinking because the Seven of Swords, something, something wasn't up to your standards. Um, you know, I don't like to focus on drama. It's not something that I don't, it's like adding gasoline to a fire to me. Um, but this seven of swords can be like, you know, this energy of lying or, or sneakiness. And it's like not up to your standards. And if there, that was going on in some kind of way, in some situation, like the tower is such a positive thing because it is crumbling it. Queen of Swords, it is cutting it out because you have love and celebration that and joy that you're meant to. You are meant to be shining. You're not you're not meant to be in that energy. You're meant to have feel passionate. Yeah, the devil card in the five of wands. It's like there was this energy of competing. Um One of the things that I always like to say is like, it is so important to remember that there really is no true competition because what is meant for you is meant for you. And there is only one you. And the more that you can be this beautiful queen of wands that you are, which is loving and fully accepting yourself, all of yourself, the shadow, the light, all of it, you will, you will see that like they're really, even though a situation might feel like people are trying to compete with you or whatever, or... It, your light is your light, right? And it is only you. So there is, you know, remember that fact, okay? Because remember that 
the only things that can fall away are the things really that are not meant for you here, okay? Especially when you're being, you're being in your beautiful energy. You have love and celebration coming in. I feel like there's an end to this stuff. The five of wands double card could be addiction or uh, attachment that's not healthy. Um, someone could just, you know, made you feel like you're competing or, you know, made you feel like they were, there was dishonesty or just like this toxicity that, you know, had to fall away with the tower, had to fall away here so that you can have the universe bringing in what it is that it wants to bring in for you. Celebration, love, fairness for you, what you actually deserve here. Okay, Aries, let's pull from the other deck. So the bottom of this deck, four of abundance. It's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely or are you holding on to it too tightly? This can also relate to how you give up yourself to others. Is your heart open? Are you holding back? Your hard work, wise invent and your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. Yeah, and that's the thing with the Queen of Swords. Sometimes it can come across as cold um, or like the heart being closed just because she's been through so much. So remember to keep your heart open, right? Because there is, there is love for you. There is emotional fulfillment for you. There is celebration for you, okay? Um, you may not be able to see all the steps, but that does exist for you here. The Five of Pentacles, you may have felt like you were in a financially in a place that was struggle for you. But this is something that you can absolutely overcome. Like you have that power within you. And you had the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you have stability coming in. You have this loving, stable energy coming in for you. Um, and that can be bringing it out from within yourself, right? As well. The universe knows that you deserve joy. You deserve to feel safe and you deserve to feel stable. Um, you deserve more than lower energies of like competitiveness or dishonesty or like, yeah. You just need to keep shining as you. Okay, so two cards. Oh, this is too many. This is a whole bunch of cards that fell, actually. What is the highest message for Aries? The big, fat deck of cards. <laughs> okay, what is the highest messages for Aries? Okay, no matter what I do, it's like four cards want to come out for you. So we're going to go with it, okay? Actually, it's five, but this keeps happening over and over and over again. There's a lot of cards of action here. Fire, this is you, fire energy. There's a lot of cards of fire energy. Ace of fire. So this is really like, this is wonderful. This is wonderful new opportunities um, in terms of creativity or your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. Um, it's you getting busy. It's like with the Eight of Pentacles, you doing hard work. It's also a time a great time to like have confidence in yourself if you want to start a new business it's this brand new beginning that uh this that brings passion that's that's moving you forward to great places and the four of wands here this i'm actually going to read you what this one says your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety contentment and financial security and that's kind of what i was feeling with the king of pentacles you deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event such as an engagement, a wedding, buying a new home, or the birth of a child. Exactly what we were saying here with the three of cups. Like there is some kind of celebration here. This is a beautiful card. There's, there's something really wonderful and exciting coming in for you, happening for you. There's also this brand new beginning, this passionate brand new beginning. 
the three of wands here, the three of action. If this is a card of things working out beautifully, this is like your ships coming in. Um, it could also be that you might be traveling. For some of you, I'm feeling this sense of traveling here. But this is your ships coming in. Like you have the four of wands. Like you have the the ace of wands. This is this is beautiful. All of that hard work and all that effort and everything that you've been through is like bringing in these beautiful rewards for you. Um, and the Ten of Wands here too. So anytime you find that you're working too hard, remember that there's this need to find like this healthy balance in life, okay? Between like balancing like, for example, your career and your personal life or asking for help from others to lighten your load so that you don't feel like you're carrying all of the weight of the world on your shoulders because you don't want like all that to to harm your health in any way. So ask for help when you need it. If you're working too hard, then take the breaks, take the rest. You don't need to keep going all the time, okay? These blessings that are meant for you are coming in for you. You don't have to you don't have to overdo it in terms of taking on too much or carrying too many burdens or working too or working overly hard here, okay? You have the two of cups. So for some of you, this is about love. I felt like that with the king of pentacles and the king of cups both coming out in this reading because it's a stable long-term offer of love. Four of wands, it could be, you know, for some of you, this is a relationship that's going to last. That's really going to last. The stable long-term, it's like you're building your castle here. Um, so it can be like, also like you grow closer in this relationship. It's like your spiritual connection deepens. And it could be about a friendship for some of you too. Like it doesn't have to be about love. You have to use your intuition of how it applies to you. Um, and even if something feels challenging, even if something has felt very challenging, there is still hope here. And that is the message here with the Two of Cups. There's still hope here. There's this love here. There's this ability to like really fall in love and grow stronger. Okay, Aries, I hope that gave you some messages that were useful for you. Thank you so much for being here. If it did resonate with you, please do like it. It helps me to know that it made sense for you. And if you wanna help this channel grow, I'd love for you to subscribe or share. I adore this time that we have together. I'm sending you my love and light and I wish you all the best. Have a beautiful week, Aries. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.